guys, what's going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 15, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video, and we have a big breaking news, red alert. It says here, large shipping containers being dropped off in American neighborhoods and then guarded by the police. I want to show you a picture here, guys. Look at this. All right, so you have uh, multiple uh, law enforcement, and you have, and once again, multiple containers. There's a symbol on that container. It seems like that's a military symbol. If I'm not mistaken, it's, it's painted red. So this is not only happening in this region. This is happening in different states. And there's been uh, a lot of people reporting of uh, strange containers being dropped off in their neighborhoods. Now, they're saying these containers has uh, very, very important equipment, basically preparing for WW3. So let me just uh, read this part really quick. If you can, please share the video. These shipping containers that are hauling military ooh, equipment, if you try to even go near there, the cops will start coming. And they will try to confiscate your footage. This is no joke. I'm putting my life on the line to bring you guys this footage. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, guys. So there's a lot of information coming out, a lot of info. Um... I was watching Full Spectrum Survival on YouTube. He's sounding the alarm on this one. Um, and this video link, I'm going to leave, leave in the comments box if you guys want to check out his video. He just posted this not too long ago. I think it was like two hours ago. The title to the video is, It's Happening Again, The Gov Buying Body Bags and Equipment and Food for Biblical War. This link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check out his video. All right, so let's see what's going on here, guys. There's a lot of preparation. Also, we have more breaking news updates. Here we go. Uh-oh. There's another nuclear submarine. This time, it was spotted. Of UK code sparks emergency defense meeting. So there's one. Actually, there's two in Cuba. And now there's another one. Of UK coast look out it seems like uh, these biblical wars tensions are rising I think it was that peace agreement from the bear leader I think uh, I think the sleeping giant and NATO made a huge mistake for not accepting that now the bear is moving their nuclear submarines All right, let's see what's going on here, guys. Please share the video. Very important. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys all the breaking news updates and all these info and all these uh, strange stuff that's going on in sleeping giant cities. All right, so it says here. It says this person has been documenting this and multiple times these containers have been showing up and unloaded full. It was full of uh, military equipment. People in the comments say they've seen these in multiple states and it's being speculated. They could be used to... Whoa! Hello. It's being speculated they could be used to arm those group that came through the sleeping giant southern region I don't know guys what do you think 
And remember in 2020 when they had those pallets and those pallets was filled with bricks? You guys know what happened in 2020. And those pallets of bricks in every sidewalk uh, corner in Chicago and Seattle and even in uh, NY, uh, people were talking about all these pallets with bricks. And then uh, you had those group Antif, you know who, ripping the shrink wrap and giving the bricks to many out there. Give me a second here, guys. This is a video, but I'm not going to play it due to copyright. All right, so let me zoom it in. I'm going to zoom it in because I want to see that symbol. Let's zoom it in. Here we go. Oh, maybe that's just a container, one of those company symbol. I don't know, guys. It kind of looks like a, an aircraft or an eagle. What do you guys think? And uh, the symbol I'm talking about is this one here. I've seen that before. It's like it's like military stuff. It's like on a patch or something. I don't know. I've seen that symbol before. So that's the one they're talking about. Those containers being dropped off in uh, neighborhoods. Different state. Then you have the, uh, the blue there. A little closer. That's got to be a military. That's like uh, I've seen it now in the movie uh, Top Gun. I've seen that symbol before. Hold on. Give me a second here. I've seen that symbol before. Now, I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong on this one here, guys. I'm looking at all this stuff here. Like, for example, I'm looking at this one here. You see the Top Gun? I'm looking at that one. And then I'm looking at this one here. This one right there. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but uh, I've seen that symbol somewhere. All right, so once again, guys, it seems like it's, it's a military container, and they spray paint that to uh, identify these containers. All right, so it's a 48-foot container, so it's not a 40-foot. This thing is, is uh, it's the second uh, biggest container the first one is, I think it's a 54 foot. That's the biggest one. Then a 48, which is the, this one here. And then a 40 foot container. Um, the smallest one, I think it's 24. Give me a second here. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's some military stuff there. That is definitely military stuff there. I used to work for uh, a warehouse. And uh, I used to help the guys... In the shipping and uh, receiving department, you know, unload containers, and uh, I seen like all these different companies, like Old Dominions and uh, all these uh, uh, trucking companies. But I never seen anything like that. I never seen a symbol like that. not much information on this one here all right that is definitely a 48 so it's a longer container you see this one here that's the extension and then you have the extension right here so it's a long container it's some uh, some stuff in there we don't know what it is but according to this person, uh, this person saying that they have unloaded the container and there are military equipment. And anybody that gets near it, start recording, they're going to confiscate your stuff.
I truly apologize, guys. I can't play the video due to copyright. I got hit multiple times, so I'm trying to be very careful. But if you guys want to check out this video, I just shared it. My Twitter page. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the comments box. So when you click on Twitter, uh, it takes you straight to my main page. All you got to do is just scroll down, and you're going to see it. And all you got to do is just press play, and you can watch the video. All right, so once again, guys, uh, these shipping containers that are have military equipments, if you try to even go near there, once again, they will confiscate your stuff. Mm. And it's being placed in different, uh, different cities in the U.S. Let's go with this one here. Look out. The bare nuclear sub spotted off UK coast sparks emergency defense meeting. Boy, oh boy, these subs are all over the place now. These are the signs that need, uh, that we need to look out for. Scripture tells us when it comes to nation against nations and kingdom against kingdom. These signs uh, all leads up to the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And people need to start preparing themselves spiritually, physically, and mentally. You need to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but to Jesus. If you reject Jesus Christ, again, you're just a walking dead corpse. Your destination will be the lake of fire. You're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. But hold on, Lewis. I'm a good person. I help, uh, you know, I help a lot of people and this and that. Uh, yeah, even before Jesus, you know, in like in the Old Testament, you know how many people were doing good works? But again, good works does not get you into the kingdom of heaven. What gets you into the kingdom of heaven is believing, is accepting Jesus, is looking up to um, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ is the only way. You see what's going on in this uh, fallen world. Everybody's celebrating the let's go colorful June. Now they're taking down U-turn signs. I'm like, what in the world? So, again, we are seeing all the uh, scriptures, Bible prophecy events happening right in front of our faces. If they've taken down U-turn signs, then you know for sure that God has given up many people to reprobate mine. Wow. I can't look at that U-turn sign. I can't. It's hurting me. All right. So it says here, it comes as the bear leader, Vlad, vowed to punish the sleeping giant and an ATO for giving UKR long range and uh, 40 billion uh, in, I don't know how much is that in US currency, but it's a lot of money. Long using the frozen of the bear. Wow. So they want to take the bear um, money that is froze, um, sanctioned. So they want to take that money and give it to uh, UKR to rebuild the country. That's like 300 something billion dollars. <laughs> And the bear leader say, you touch my money. It's game on, w, uh, WW3. All right, so you have uh, Kanzan, a state of the art. Another submarine was detected on June the 5th after a RAF Poseidon P-8 anti-sub aircraft uh, dropped. Sunar boyers uh, used to detect the subsurface activity at depth. Hmm. And RAF Marine Time surveillance plane tracked the sub as it, uh, as it is headed up the west coast of Ireland to Scotland. Passing close to Britain's nuclear naval base at uh, Fast Lane and military commanders feared the laundering 13,800 ton vessel was probing for weaknesses on NATO uh, flank. All right, let's stop here for a second. There's two important base now. All right, so the bear have the submarine, uh, and I talked about this, the MacDill uh, Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. We talked about it, and I talked about this six months ago. That's one of the regions that the bear will launch their nukes, and that's towards the MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa. I'm not too far from that region. I Actually, uh, I live like, well, I used to live like 15 miles away from it, but now uh, we live way up there past Spring Hill. So it's, it's still a little far. Give me a second here. Give me a second. All 
So I live 63 miles away from McDill. McDill, excuse me. One hour and 16 minutes. 63 miles. So if the bear drops a nuke on that region, McDill, we will still get impacted. We will get impacted. We will get impacted. All right. So they said in order to be safe from the bear nuclear, you have to be far distance over 100 miles. All right. Over 100 miles. So again, because a nuke is really powerful. Uh, it's not no little firecracker and stuff. This stuff is stronger than ours. Have you seen the mushroom? <laughs> Man, their mushroom compared to ours, I mean, there's like three times stronger than ours. And their mushroom is huge. So, if 63 miles, and I did my research. So, if the bear nuke hits McDill, uh, I'm still going to see, again, we're still going to see the effect. We're still going to see it. Hmm. And I was talking to my wife about, you know, getting out of Dodge or going somewhere. Uh, I do have a lot of families and friends in Maine. Maine is one of the safest areas in the Sleeping Giant. It's all land. There's no point of the bear dropping nukes there. There's nothing up there. So, but when you live in, again, the state of Florida and you have McDill based there, one of the targets for the bear to drop a nuke, that's a big no-no. Hmm. All right, so there's two baits, the McDill, and then you have the uh, the Britain's nuclear naval base, the Fast Lane. Fast Lane. All right. It seems like the bear already got the list. The bear has their list. One in the Sleeping Giant, one in Britain. Look out. So it says here, news of the bear vessel's location was passed to the permanent joint headquarters in Northwood. With both the PM and Defense Secretary informed, uh, the news can exclusively reveal. Once again, the Kazan was expected to go to Venezuela before landing in Commonwealth nation, Guyana, where the Royal Navy patrol ship uh, HMS Trent was uh, recently deployed as a show of support against an increasing border. I'm going to skip that name. By the bear supporting Venezuela. Guyana was annexed. I believe Guyana was annexed by Venezuela. Now, Guyana is... is uh, There's been some stuff going on there. And we did have some Air Force... I'm um, not Air Force, Navy in that region. I don't know if we still have Navy in that region in Guyana... But, uh, again, a sleeping giant is going to be there. Hold on. Give me a second here. Guyana. Guyana, 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 Guyana. Give me a second here, guys. This here was posted back in uh, February 2024. The Sleeping Giant is increasing its urgent, uh, there you go, to Guyana as neighboring Venet. Uh, so, yeah, the Sleeping Giants are still there. The Sleeping Giants are still there. I believe so. The Sleeping Giants are still in that region. And the bear is going there, too. So again, it's really hot. These uh, these uh, these territory is gonna be really hot. You got the sleeping giant and the bears so close to each other, especially in Cuba. Uh, so the sleeping giant, they're gonna keep their eye on the bear. The U.S. is gonna keep an eye on Russia. There you go. So in a briefing last week, this person uh, Smith, the sleeping giant and ATO ambassador said D.C. may review its policy of not allowing the egg tag. To target mainland of the bear. Uh oh, what's going on here? Is the sleeping giants backing up? Are they saying, "Hey, don't hit the bear territory"? 
once again, uh, hold on. So in a briefing last week, Smith, uh, the Sleeping Giant NATL ambassador, said DC may review. They are thinking twice. They might have a change of heart. Review its policy of not allowing the ATAB, very powerful equipment here that, uh, that uh, belongs to us, to target mainland of the Bear Country, adding we will continue to assist and adopt to the UKR ever-evolving needs. Around this amount of money and assets uh, from the Bear Central Bank was frozen as part of Western Sanks shortly after the 2022 of the Bear Invades of the UKR. Sources say the deal was struck so UKR could be assured of enough funds in the event the Sleeping Giant House once again held up aid under a 4-5 presidency. All right. So once again, this is a very important update. The bare nuclear sub spotted off UK coast sparks emergency defense meeting. Man, so we are seeing a lot of stuff here, guys. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Give me a second here. We have breaking news. Look at this, man. Oh, look at that. Big breaking news. The bear is moving more tanks to UKR. Well, we should have accepted that agreement, right? All this would have ended in 24 hours. We would have just laughed and said, hey, that's it. No more biblical war. But the sleeping giant and NATO said, no peace. We will continue the biblical war. And look at the bear. Now they're moving their stuff. Oh, boy. Here we go. The bear are moving tanks. There you go. Should have uh, accepted the uh, the other agreement. Mm. Give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to see if there's any more information. But, uh, yeah, this is it for now. Big breaking news. There is a lot of stuff going on today. And, guys, I know tomorrow is Father's Day, but stay fully awake. Don't let, you know, again, you need to be aware of your surrounding. Give me a second here. Ooh, we have more breaking news updates. Ah, oh, man. I told you guys I was not going to make another video, but we got something big. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to make a video of this, guys. Uh, it's gonna be posted over my other channel. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video for those of you that want to give a like to Christ. You can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.